Okay, so first things first is I kind of I'm gonna roll roll the uh the warlock for oh, sorry the cleric sorry the warlock right, I just forgot I just remembered I forgot to add their modifiers. <laughs> I want to con argue with the cleric. The, no, whatever the no. clerk said. Cleric there. is saying it's Celestial, trying, is talking to Celestial, trying to convince the uh, warlock to go and learn every single language as a challenge. And, I, I'm, and I'm convincing the cleric, or I don't care what the cleric's saying, I'm just convincing the warlock in whatever language he can understand not to. You can't go and say. Like, uh, how would you know what the cleric is saying, though? No, this is exactly what I'm saying. Whatever the cleric's telling you, don't listen. I heard that he wants to kill you. And that's exactly what I want to roll. So, Miss Deception. Yes. You are rolling with disadvantage, then. I will do it. Is that persuasion? Um, yes. That would be uh, with persuasion. Twelve. Dang it. <laughs> Um, we all have those days. <laughs> oh, wait. Like, it's with disadvantage. You see, I have to roll again because it's a disadvantage. Okay, 12. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, it was persuasion or deception. One to two. Sure. I have uh, persuasion. <laughs> is there a deception? There is a deception. I have persuasion. Sour. Yeah, I can't see my character's bio and stuff. Yeah, he's not convinced at all. Damn it. <laughs> uh, he is convinced. Wait, no, I forgot that I start to check. Uh, so, let's see. <laughs> Wait, are we recording yet? Yeah. Okay. Sorry for weird noises. I'm opening. Can yeah, Claire beat. Claire beat uh, the warlock. Uh, so yeah, uh, they're gonna be trying to teach each other languages now. Oh, uh, as I go and pull up the language thing I have on my phone. Wait, I asked if either of them knows Elvin. I know Elvin. Um. Wait, no, what basically right now the only things that they're gonna be teaching is one is gonna be teaching uh well though cleric's gonna be teaching the warlock uh okay. draconic and okay. the warlock's gonna be teaching the cleric elder draconic and infernal. I offer to teach them Elvin. Uh, Wait, well, where are you? He didn't convince as uh, William. Um <laughs> So, uh, I tr I'm going to try and persuade him that I can teach him Elvin. <clears throat> Twenty-five. No, it's actually just a question on uh, whether or not Will uh, Prixen wanted to, wants to. Oh, uh, I convinced uh, him to learn Elvin with that twenty-five. I want him to learn Elvin. So you're just scratching the surface on Elvin with him. Yes. No, here's the thing. I want to teach him Elvin, but I re want to replace words like your mother is a... He's and just be... trade him with swear words that he doesn't know. Oh my lord. <laughs> I want to kill this cleric in the most weirdest way possible. Yeah, the cler cleric is definitely convinced to go and learn okay. cler uh, okay. uh, that from you. Okay, He's then I want to teach him. Then I want to teach him the weirdest version of Elvin. He's gonna ever. first that try to learn, learn like Elder Draconic, though. What is that for, Alex? Oh no, sorry. I was trying to figure out the the type again because I'm fucking yeah an idiot twenty twenty um uh, or well what it's like uh, type in roll oh. Uh, 
and then like the number D, however what dice you're rolling, and and then you do plus or minus your modifier. Uh, gotcha. So let's see. Uh, uh, I think Lucas. I want to learn uh, the language that Lucas is learning. I want to teach him actual. <laughs> I'll teach him actual elephant. <laughs> I will learn his elven language. So but then, I think Lucas uh, has a role for it to teach me. What do I add to that? I think it's a d20, I think. Okay, I'm just going to roll a plain d20. 18. Yeah, you actually do scratch the surface on me. Oh my. I mean, it's all up to the DM, so. Yeah, it's up to the DM. Um, for what? Like, uh, learning Alvin? Learning Alvin. Um, like, basically, you can learn any language. Uh, <laughs> right now, now, uh, the warlock knows kind of simple. Uh, I was like, wait, what? He knows certain all in language, but it's curse words being replaced in your mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my lord. Yes, the warlock has like. Do you know the... this ancient draconic? The war. The cleric. He knows. Let's see. <laughs> what... He knows. He knows basically a uh, kind of simple Elder Draconic. That's about it. No. So they have not learned much. Hmm. And that's basically all that they could have done for uh, this uh, short rest. Wait, what? Like in terms of learning languages. So you basically roll roll a d20, uh, and then you roll roll a d10. Um, okay, so I rolled an 18. Is that good? Yeah. Uh, okay. Now roll d10. Three. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, he's supposed to uh, roll it to know, like, how well does he actually know the concepts. Oh, then you roll. Oh, roll. Hyphen. Yeah, it's Why not just, just do it on the, the funny website? Yeah, the D10 is just flat out uh, the um, knowledge roll. I said the intelligence roll is literally just based off of, of like your modifiers. Well, it's the D20 and your modifiers. <laughs> Slash roll d20 with a space in between the roll and the d. The space wants the d. Modifier is what? I think I don't have my paper right now. Unless, unless Henry has it. For what? My modifier. It's a d20, whatever the modifier is. Should that just be of the journal? Yeah, yeah. should be. I can't see so my character it would stuff. Be a, a, B20 plus a reload. Reload. A reload? Reload. That so just exit and come back? Yeah, that helped me. Alright. I think mine is plus five or plus two or plus three. one. Plus one. <laughs> I think mine's plus four or five. Well, where Alex is plus three, he still did not do good. Wait, I gotta add something to my roll? Uh, no, just he does. Oh, I need to learn this one now. <laughs> I'm a bigger idiot when it comes to typing. <laughs> I'll say, let Henry do the roll. I'll take punishment on the roll. What did he roll? I didn't roll. Oh, you forgot <laughs> the flash. And it's just roll, not rolling. Uh, 
all 15. So, yeah. Um, do you want me to roll the d10 too, or? Yeah, roll the d10. God, I have five pounds, or almost six pounds in money. So then, you know, no, extremely simple elven, and uh, which basically would translate to about uh, knowing uh, roughly 5% of elven. Ooh, baby talk, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's literally baby talking like in American standards. That sucks. Oh, slash R works for rolling? Yeah. Oh. So, what's with the <laughs> demon? Uh, did we ever get to that? For what? There's now literally a demon next to our campfire. And I'm out of the game. Um, yeah. yeah, that's the person that just went went and had their world go distorted. And then they just peered right there? Yeah. Oh, and then they are just now surrounded by uh, four random people. We just okay. see them come out of like a hole, uh, and are now wondering where the heck they came from. Okay, well, I want to turn my character to face that character, point at him in his face, and say, are you a lawbreaker? Oh, you need a roll for that one. Yes, uh, I want to roll intimidation. Uh, intimidation actually, you can bad. just, uh, it depends on whether Derek uh, wants to just stay it out or not. If he doesn't want to say it, then yeah, you have to roll. Otherwise, you can, you can just state it. <laughs> you heard roll. Yeah, you could do it because I'm trying to figure out this whole bio. Thing. Okay, how do. Uh, how do the. Bloody. How do I turn off. I wish I could turn off advanced roll. 17. Wow. <laughs> Barely. Any more than 15, you would have been screwed. Yeah. That's good. Tell me where the dog goes. How is that intimidating someone? Wait. Wait, who's the healer in our group? I don't think we have. That. You mean and Prixie, who's the cleric, uh, and is the the technical healer, or the warlock that is the physical healer? No, the one who's gonna punch me and heal me. I want to force him to do that to me. Oh no, he's already done that. Oh okay. <laughs> he's already punched you up to full health. Oh uh, yeah, punching. <laughs> and Derek, are you wanting to roll or do you want? Uh, me to roll it. Oh, what are you rolling for? Because I wasn't paying attention. You are very much intimidated. So now you have to answer. I have to answer what? You have <laughs> to answer whether or not you are a lawbreaker and you are a chaotic neutral. I am a good. <laughs> I'm not breaking any rules. But rules <laughs> do not hold me down. <laughs> I want to roll insight to see if he's lying. Yep, uh, roll it again. And so is Derek. Derek has a roll for that one, too. Right, yeah, you have to ro roll deception or persuasion. 22. <laughs> Hope for that 20. I got a yeah, Derek gets something higher. He has to get something higher. Uh, I will counter that. Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eric got beat by 22. Yeah, you do not convince him at all. Mm. Oh. Oh, breaker. You gonna attack me, huh? I haven't done anything. 
I just want some tree bark. Come on, man. Wait, did he seriously just say, will you attack me? Uh, No, all you wanted was tree bark. In character, did in character, did you say that? Yeah. Will you attack me? My character wrestles him. <laughs> Do I add strength? Yeah, you have to roll. Yeah, you strength both have to roll. Okay, what do I add? Uh, uh, you would add uh, dex. Oh, and dex. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, not really. If I tackled him, could I add strength? Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, then I go for the tackle so I can add my strength. Fuck. Not very good roll. Thirteen. Right for the no, no, not so good. Yeah, though he also rolls uh <laughs> strength. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just absolutely tackle, uh, tackle him to the ground. Uh and he is just not really able to do much of a fight. Hey, get off me. I want street bark. Come on. <laughs> By the rules of law, I'll now read you your rights. My you rights. are a lawbreaker. <laughs> Your right a lawbreaker. is to die. Derek has a roll for damage. That's a roll for damage? Yeah, tackle strength. Alright, so it's a, just a d20. Uh, to get him off of him? Oh, sorry, to get him. No. To, no, he took damage because he because uh. Do I take damage from getting tackled? Yeah, you actually can get hurt by getting tackled. It actually is true. Yeah, so yeah. what do you? What dice would that be? Um, so you take three, three damage. damage. Oh, never mind. Like, all right. I don't yeah. know how much HP. Oh, I have low HP. The fuck. But um. So uh, yeah, you, he just targeted you for a third of your health. Yeah. No, we get the you can force the healer to punch you in the face just so you get the joy out of it for the lawbreakers side. Lucas, you could do that for I joy. Try. Yes, try I'm going to have the warlock punch him in the face multiple times. But and I'm going just ask, to ask him I what the warlock just asks, asks, um, uh, are you at least are you going to be attacking us or as uh, or are you going to be helping us? I'm just here to help my son. I need money for my son. I and tree bark. Okay, are you fine with me punching you now then? I want to get him off of me first. Get him off of me. Nah, the punch was be satisfied. <laughs> I say, what crime have you committed? You have to roll, both of you. And he has to make up for the crime. What? Right. What, what am I rolling? Yeah. Insight. Uh, have you done any crime? So yeah, the just... shit. You still have to roll a deception. And or yeah, and one of the two. Yeah. Nineteen. Okay, I rolled a nine. So, so yeah, you do my character just gets off of it and goes, Why didn't you say so? God. Which exactly. is days. And then the warlock just comes over here and starts Physically punching him. Hey, hey, that didn't. Wait, wait. How does that not hurt? How are you gonna hit me and not hurt? No, actually, you are feeling better for that. Like, you're punching you just. So it's like, what? Oh, how is it that you're making me feel better by punching me? Is that a masochist? Are you Yo, a mas- Wait, no. Oh, don't, 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 don't give me like that, all right? That ain't the move, Chief. Right? That's not it. <laughs> no, but Warlock clearly has negative strength. So when he adds his strength modifier to the punch, <clears throat> he literally does negative damage. Oh, he can actually do negative damage. Yeah, he either does zero, uh, hits himself, or he heals whoever he's hitting. He literally cannot kill by a punch. <sighs> I, uh, I, dust, I dust my clothes off. <laughs> so, God, which but... way do we want to go? Mm. I vote. 
We got this way. Yeah. Uh, I vote this way. Go, you vote the top. Wait, did we did we um rob the? I mean, um, loot those <laughs> rooms. No, the people from last game. Yeah, we did. We were fucking around with their corpses. Yeah. Okay. We very much were looting them. <laughs> we already looted for the gold already. Copper, but yeah. Copper and gold, silver, whatever the case. Yeah. Mm. I just wanted to make sure. Wherever... So which direction we ha we'll go up? Up is the way that we first were, though. We could go up. Yeah, like we can go up again because there's still one uh, more. We, we have that way. Left. We have this way, and then we have I that mean, one. We didn't explore this way, so I think we should go that way. Oh yeah. I forgot about two rolls that I wanted to know. Okay, there, he I'm knows about the people. Does he know about the other thing? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, get, I'll decently give him that. Okay, so he just tells the glare. Actually, no. That's a bit... Um... So, yeah, he's whispered about the people to the cleric. Right now, only him and the <laughs> cleric know about the people. Oh, uh, and then... Oh. Wait, actually, I want to do something really quickly. What? I want to turn to the warlock and say, which way is not dangerous? He seems to... Okay. Yeah, the it's the only reason why he is... A people to kill for the law. But we had the role for you had the role for insight now because of that. Up top is or not persuasion. dangerous because that's the way that we just went. That way when we just revealed it's not dangerous. Is that way down um, is not not that bad. Behind us seems to be dangerous. Okay. I rolled in six, oh. so I do not believe. No, you just full on believe him. Okay. I'm like, okay, so I'm like, so th he said this way isn't dangerous, and what other way wasn't dangerous, or <laughs> that way wasn't dangerous? Yeah. Is he leading us back to the other dungeon? Let's go to the one in purple. Yeah, that's the first room. Why would that be? Why would that be dangerous? Well, I mean, there's a bunch of dragons the other walkway, so... There still is one more path, though. <laughs> there's mm. four ways that we could have gone. Uh, there was up, left, up, right, and down. All you I tried, know is... You tried going the left, and then it. there was a dragon. You tried going up, the, and he said that there was another dragon. And then you asked the warlock. He said to go down. And then we went down. But all my character knows is the color triangle. <laughs> and also, no, wait, wait, wait. If there, is there, if there's the only way out, and those those way outs were the dragons, we have to go up there. Then, Lucas, we do. Uh, yeah. said, okay, let's go towards the dragons then. Um, okay. So then, to you never easy, know. Yeah. There might be a shitload of loot. Dragons like to hide a uh, a lot of loot and gold. And weapons and all that. So Do you get using on me? I'm just gonna have, have the war like uh, be like four behind the clear. I'm behind the warlock, definitely. <laughs> yep, same here. I'll the be warlock right is a dwarf. The warlock. You guys exactly. will be very much ahead of him. I don't. It's perfect that way. Therefore, I can stab people that are in front of him, and he can stab them too. That is the logic I'm using. Do I so need to convince him that, of that? Basically. No, not really. I convince him. 20. <laughs> yep. You have to I, tell him him it's, I tell him it's because I can reach over him and hit whoever's in front of him while he whacks him. Yeah. I think no. that believes you. 
Hey, Terry, nope. <laughs> no way for the warlock. Uh, oh, yeah, he also goes and does... The warlock did say as well, oh, uh, in the other room. This dungeon is also dangerous. No, you don't Yo, say. Can I, like, follow them? Uh, well, he says as uh, that there's a that this uh, dungeon is dangerous other than the dragons. Oh, you don't say. Dress. We could have used the warning on orcs and cobalt. Thank you very much. We can go for note number two or. Well, we could go for note 2.0. We could go for the nope nope area. Uh, or we could go this way. Which is the praise the dark praise be the darkness path. I'd say nope nope area. Oh, yeah, the Derek, nope nope area is us? dragons. Oh, never mind. Well, that's why it's called the nope nope area. How about nope 2.0? Another dragon. Alright, let's go praise the darkness. Praise <laughs> <laughs> the darkness. Praise be no, the darkness. Are you two coming with us? How do I move my character? That's the thing. Just click on it. I I am. Thank you. Alex, like you're coming with us too, then. Uh, just just click and hold and then drag. Yeah. Lord. So okay. who's opening up the door? Um. Let's make the warlock do it. <laughs> he has the flat armor. Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> he has the flat armor. So, like, I kind of forgot all about the all my character's backstory and shit. So I'm saying, oh, all I know. I remember that I'm addicted to tree bark. I have a sign, and my name's Ob. So. Actually, oh, those are my <laughs> character fought in a rebellion for the law, and he ended up winning, but got kicked out and almost okay, killed. What is yeah. their stuff again? I like how I don't even know my own character's stuff. Because he knows something. I wanted to see if he actually, actually can persuade the cleric. Oh, oh those are stats if you have negative stats. Yeah, don't put those on. I know, I was just testing them out because they looked cool. What, did, what is the wrench negative stat? That's what I want to know. Uh, magnetism. Mm. Like, I think it's aggro. So then... So, oh. oh, oh, yeah, I forgot you could do that. Mm. Um. So then, inside is fire. This is not gonna go. What? Oh my god, how did he persuade the cleric for that? Persuaded the cleric to do what? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> to do this! And which he opens the door. Uh, Fucking warlock persuasion. With a 21, he persuaded the cleric, saying that if his patron will obviously not let him die, so he's this person. After all, with a 21. <laughs> we're in fight mode. And that is why the warlock is going opened first. up the door. Damn it. Uh, uh, and I'm behind that. No, we're not going to go all forward. I want to be on the side of the room. This is where I'm going Yep, time to set up position. Setting up position. Let's do this. Wait, yeah, can I be that. like can I be like all right, can I be like right here? Okay, no. Uh, no, you can no, no, yeah, the right goblins here. also right here, right here. try throwing the table. I can't move myself there apparently. 
Put uh, yourself in the center. Can I explain what's going on now? Uh, so the goblins also are gathered around the table as the cleric opens the door. <laughs> or they all uh, just join forces as to the door opening and and throw the table just right, right at the cleric. Uh, the cleric dodges. Kind of move the, uh, the yeah, you table move still has enough force. Uh, and so the warlock is not able to dodge. But the plot, I'm oh, sorry, but apparently his plot armor just has the table hit right in his lever armor. So wait, the table does no damage but hits him. Yeah. yeah. Shouldn't it at least move him? I don't know, like right, right, or at least right here. If... At least right beside you or me. <laughs> yeah. Well, fair enough, or... because the last time. Time the cleric went boom right into a person. Uh -huh. So roll okay, initiatives. So that was the warlock. That the cleric. Um, my okay. character was enemy one, enemy two, enemy three, enemy four, enemy five. How do? Where do I find initiative again? Oh, that's plus oh, one. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Twenty-one. Oh, nine. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I had to scroll down. Yeah, it's roll two. Fuck me. Yeah. Can't do this too right. Mm. Do slash roll. <laughs> You're forgetting the slash. Dude, right here up in the left corner, there's an advanced roll dice roll. So you can just automatically set it up. Use that. Uh, well, I already I'm rolled. Oh, I see it. Um, plus two, that's 12. Get seven. Yeah. Um, so I'm first. What about the freaking, uh... I'm just gonna abbreviate. Oh. <clears throat> what about the cleric and the warlock? Yeah. So let's have the warlock, I asked the warlock if they can, like, move. Why can't I click? That's why. Like maybe right here or right there, and we have what class is? I don't know. Monk. These okay, then yeah, the you definitely go in this fight, spot. Fight, fight. The things that we're fighting now are goblins. Yeah. So basically, what we want is like the warlock to be right there, so that he can fire into metal. The monk to be right there. The two warriors to be on this side, so that way we all like all of us whack each other. And the cleric will obviously be the meat shield again, like right there, dying. Like always. The proper place. For some reason, I can't move my character. I don't know how. Okay, left click. Uh, do you have the right thing clicked? You have the pointer, right? Select yeah. The okay, then I'm you want to click you, and you then hold. Like, like fighter? Yeah, I'm clicking and holding. I'm right? fighter, yeah. Yeah, click. And wait, does he have permission to move his? Mm. No, because we initiated the fight, so Henry has to move them. Yeah. Uh, so only Henry can move uh, Derek's piece with the initiative by move. Okay, so the things that I forgot were the. Wow. We'll just leave like the cleric, like, right? Where he is, pretty much, and just tell him to fight, fight for the glory of your god, whoever that god may be. <laughs> buy time, buy time for the warlock to escape. Yeah, that's that's it. That's what I'll roll. I'm convincing the cleric to stay to buy time for the warlock. Eight, not very convincing. Um, actually, the warlock is. Is first. 
<laughs> and yeah, the cleric's not convinced. Damn it. Fuck us. Everybody did add their dexterity. Hey, no swearing. Is... Wait, I thought for initiative we added the initiative fire. Yeah, that's dex. Oh. Well, yes, I added it. <laughs> Why does our monk look like a fire demon? I don't know. Because uh, it's the thing that I wanted to look like a monk. So. Um... What race are you? I'm a Typhling. Oh, that's why. Yeah. They are pretty much like humanoid demons. So then I am going. <laughs> yeah. So, Warlock, Warlock is people. going to just. Uh, I'm going to. Okay, first, I'm going to say that that fire is snuffed out because we've not been around it for a while. And so he move, moves back here. Hey, you put out our fire, you bitch. Hold on, let me see if he can still do it. Yeah. Uh, so then um, he will roll ro ro with disadvantage. So, no, he does not hit. Oh, uh, what's the first one? Oh, yeah, he uh, he doesn't uh, have the action, so he can't do that. Uh, so he can't take his second thing. So, <laughs> so enemy's turn! And... Uh, oh, I forgot that I have them on different things. So, yeah, enemy moves right there. There. Uh... And let's see. So, okay. Uh, so I do hit. And yeah, that hit. Uh, and he hits the cleric for five damage. Uh, oh my lord. Yeah, the cleric could just take healing after. Uh, so next up, oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, yeah, me and you have to do a roll off of of Dylan. I'm oh, sorry, hey Derek. All right, Next. roll for what? Uh, for initiatives. Oh, I already did that. I got like a four or something. Okay. I hope that you don't get a 12 of, but no, you, okay, so Claire, Claire is actually ahead of you in the order. Alright. Because both you and the cleric rolled 10. Oh. So, yeah, I can't give it to uh, an ally. Uh, and so, after that, after the enemy is Alex. Yeah. Wait, did I roll the lowest tier with a nine? Yeah. So you are not last in the order, though. Oh my lord. Yeah. So, what are you doing, Alex? Uh, let's see, let's see. Because I'll stay in my position. I'm not going to move. You going to prepare anything? Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door? Close the door. Closing door, then. Just the you do realize <laughs> that that means that the warlock can't fire at the enemy. Yeah. Uh, well, he can't fire at the enemies anyway because of the little clerics, so... No, no I can prep my rage. I can prep my rage. No, he I'm just rage. with disadvantage, then. Because if... But I want to sacrifice. The lot... The... For, if he's within uh, 15, then I won't roll 
with disadvantage. Uh, well, if the cleric's within 15, so if he he's there or less, uh, then there's no disadvantage roll. But otherwise, <laughs> it's roll with disadvantage. How many times do I have to state that my character's been secretly trying to kill him off? Who, he wants the that door. The warlock? Both. Oh, both. That's like a good so half. So we're trying to kill off literally the only people that can heal in this party. I never said my character was smart. <laughs> Nor <laughs> mine, because my intelligence rolls so low. It's semi good. My character and actually, it is your action, work. Alex. So you can choose not to close the door. I can prep for my rage ability. It'll be on when the trigger if the enemy gets closer. Yeah, because like the door, door opened that way. So like the door, door is kind of like right there on that end. Yeah, I should be fine. I'll prep my rage and pass on the next turn to whoever. So then, get... time for the enemy. No. Because <laughs> I get a double attack straight out off the action if they get closer to me. So, let's see the enemy. Oh, yeah, they definitely hit there. Oh, no, the enemy has a pickle. Run. Oh, rip cleric. See, <laughs> what did I say? The cleric is to be sacrificed. Yeah. Uh, clearly. Apparently the game just wants the warlock to be alive and wants the cleric to be dead. Hey, that's not me, my guy. That's, uh, that's the other guy. I said the cleric, not the monk. I know, but you said the game. Yeah, the game basically does want the cleric to be dead. <laughs> Good, this furthers my goal. Yeah, the cleric is probably going to be the first one to go to hell. I repeat, my character thinks they're demon worshippers, so... Obvious lawbreakers. Well, to be fair, they go and worship... Uh, a URL, like A U U R I L. So you technically could say that they are. I do not know what that is, so my character does not know what that is. Uh, it's basically one um, thing that's trying to uh, freeze over the world. So then. So yeah, demon worshippers. So then, because the cleric died or uh, became unconscious. The initiative roll uh, that we did, that me and Derek did, was absolutely useless. So, Derek's turn. Alright. Can I move, like... Wait, that's a bad spot. Uh, I'm gonna move, move to, like, right here. But, if I stand there... So, if I can right here, we can... Or if, here. If... Isn't that Warlock gonna shoot something, though? Yeah, but he doesn't go. But he won't hit you unless, unless he rolls a one. Yeah, unless it's a one, a roll, he, hits, he won't. Go yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Plus, we can fight Moving one here, goblin there. at a time, so that'd be better. And um, actually, I did realize there is no there is no wall like right there, so he can attack. So from like right here, he can. Yeah, but that's allies. two goblins versus like three or four. You'd have to be fighting normally, so. You know? Yeah. The point of the matter is, we're fighting a lot less goblins this way. Yeah. Yeah, be in the center, Derek, because there's no way he can miss on a one because his proficiency has the bonus, so he can't get one. All right, no, yeah. He's I'll still put... getting rolling at one. Make me look right there. On uh, uh, that one. Uh, unnatural one, uh, and it can hit an ally. Otherwise, it probably would just blow up into the warlock's face. So the cleric's yeah. dead, correct? Yeah, yeah, he's at zero HP for right now. Okay. He's I want my go. Wait, you go. Sorry. 
Uh, so, where are you moving? And uh, Right uh, here. Moving right there. You preparing then, anything? I prepare for an attack as they get close. Uh, with my quarter stick. Okay. Uh, so then, enemies turn. Let's see. So, oh. Okay. Enemies have to do an action to just move the body and throw it somewhere. Or, or hop. Yeah, hoppity, hoppity, so hoppity. that's basically the limit of their movement. Just throw throw the cleric over the edge. That's what I see them doing. Yeah. Any reaction, Alex? Uh, my rage ability triggers, so I get a double hit action on the on the fifth goblin. Okay, roll to hit. Wait, we're are, can we roll to like initiative? There's a door between yeah. you and that goblin, so you will not be getting a reaction for this one. Okay. Um, because the goblin can just move like right there. Oh, so the door's opening this. Yeah. This way. Uh, okay. Well, the door door is opening to where it's right on your side. So the door's like this right here. No, Where one d twenty plus because the rage ability says my bonus is plus two, so I got now twenty one. Actually, yeah, Lucas, you do get a reaction. Uh, uh, oh. I forgot that you get that. There's two ways to go, go. So you technically could attack from that side. And it's strength plus, um, proficiency, yeah, you hit. right? Uh, uh. You both yeah, hit. I got both yeah, we your damage. It, but it's proficiency plus um, strength, right? Uh, yeah, like it's your proficiency plus your strength. And then damage is, and then damage is uh, your whatever the weapon is plus strength. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Nine damage. Unless it says otherwise. Yeah, nine damage. So, yeah. Alex, what was your damage? Rolling. 16. Okay, that's a D20, okay, and I know you're right. Do not this? Right. Wrong one, wrong one, sorry. No, because I have a double damage because I, I take I hit him with two. Yeah, but you would just roll you would still roll oh, whatever your weapon is. Because I have two separate dies. Two separate, of course. But it's not the damage count off again. You would roll whatever your damage is, plus your strength, and then double damage. Uh, actually the nineteen oh, did hit. I was saying roll your damage. Uh what is that? A D ten, I think. Um, for what weapon? Uh, it's in the card. Well, which weapon did you have equipped? Uh, it's in the actually, it's one d eight plus, I what? think six. Yeah. One d eight plus six. Wait, what's oh. your strength? One d six plus uh, plus strength on all your weapons. Yeah, whatever my strength is. I was misreading it. No, the Warhammer for me is a plus D8. He has a hand axe. Oh, yeah, that's a 1D6. Yeah, he has a longsword, hand axe, and javelin. I have two hand axes. Oh, quarter stats. So does he. 1D6. What's my I strength? The, I am the Six. Warhammer. Six. Roll. Wait, his strength is six? Dang. Eleven. Yeah. So we did a total of twenty damage to this goblin, which I think has like health. Yeah. Uh yeah, yeah, that goblin was dead. That's why I was asking. How do you two want to do this? Because you <laughs> both killed the goblin. Like the goblin died two separate times. <laughs> Uh, I almost want it to be like Hammer and Anvil, where I just smack him in the head and then he chops off the head. <laughs> you fine with that, Alex? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. I actually will agree. <laughs> okay, so with Lucas, 
he goes and proceeds to uh, use his warhammer to smash Ash the Goblin's head against the door. And then in his comes just... Alex with his hand axe to just proceed to chop off of the Goblin's head. Make it absolute certainty that that thing is dead. I'm just imagining the head flying to avoid this way. Basically, I double tap. Yeah. And yeah. now it's your turn, Lucas. There's no such thing as too dead. Well, the cleric's dead, right? Yeah. I close the door. <laughs> <laughs> well, the cler cleric is unconscious right now. Nope, I close the door so that way me and him can whack it from the void using the door as a shield. You do so right, so steady. then the warlock Wait, can't the warlock shoot hasn't, anything. The warlock hasn't shot yet. Yeah, when, the warlock has a shoot. But it's no, safer doing it this way. No, it would be a danger to those <laughs> next to the door. Yeah, which are two warriors with armor classes. Ridiculous. The armor class of the cleric was, is ridiculous, and he's still got, oh, got freaking taken down by two different goblins. And my rage uh, side effect kicks in. Now I'm unconscious for one turn. Yes, I'm closing the door. Alright. Yep, I'm now unconscious because of rage. And I want to, I want to move the barbarian to like being propped up against the door, like he's like a door stop or something. Wait, does that mean he's gonna get hit roll by strength? It? Yeah, the roll for strength roll on me. Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen? Uh, nope. You can't move nope. me. You just uh, basically waste your turn because you have to move to there and then uh, prop him up. Okay. Well, the door is closed, correct? Yeah. Okay. The door is at least closed. That's the positive about that. Yeah. Now the goblins have to hit the door for how much damage the wooden door is made out of. Or they could just. Open it. No, you know. the lock is on our our side, not on their not on their oh, side. They have to the door. Huh? <sighs> well, he can't do anything, but I can. So I'm going to do yeah. the standard action of whack the uh, goblin. The door is okay. still there. I know, but I can. You said that we can whack him through the void, right? Yeah. Then I whack him with the reactions. Our question is: Do you guys want to use your reaction? I try and whack him with an eight. But, uh, that did not hit. I didn't think so. Yeah. Alex, are you wanting to hit him? I'm unconscious. My rage ability says side effect. Conscious after the turn is over of using the, use the double hit. I'm already out conscious already. Okay. Uh, it skips the turn. It's somebody else's now. So then... That did... Uh, is that the... A actually hit? Uh, if it did, I... That would be severely questioning. What did he no, roll? No, it did not. It just proceeds to use its, its scimitar to try and attack the unarmored barbarian, and it can't seem to go and cut through your skin. Uh, stab, 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 stab. <laughs> Why can't I cut through this? I know, right? So those unarmored defense as well kicks in. So then... What is that action? Uh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, nope, nope, not yet, nope. It doesn't trigger yet. <laughs> oh, no. It's not triggered yet. Actually, it does conscious. trigger. It's just that it that's does. why it doesn't hit you. That's why it can't cut through your skin. Okay, and here comes the mod. So yeah, then Force Goblin, and who's got? Sorry, I left the call for a second. 
Yeah, and so now the fourth go goblin is attacking you. Oh, uh, and... Yeah. So, you see the goblin just use one of its arrows. Oh, sorry. You just see an arrow come seemingly out of nowhere and just hit the floor right before you. Who? You. I feel okay with this. Yeah, because my defense says if the number's low, I gain the number of proficiency wherever my dex is already hit, it already passes the limit. And so the warlock can only prepare Eldritch Blast because otherwise, because he can't uh, go and attack the goblin because someone decided to close the door. Of course. So yeah, now he has two Eldritch Blasts to use for a reaction. See, that's a good thing. Um. Alright, aren't you? No, this thing's turn. Who will uh -huh. then go and prepare, prepare another uh, arrow? Wait, I have a question. Wait. That does not hit either. That thing. Why doesn't the warlock just go here and then shoot them? Oh, yeah, true. Like, honestly, that's why I closed the door. The warlock could just, you know, go anywhere else and fire for the edges. Fair enough. There's no the wall. The hasn't moved my body. One of you guys still had to move my body. No, actually, you're really unconscious, so you're tangling on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, he de definitely de Actually, no, he rolls with disadvantage because he can't aim. That's a nat 20 burned. But, no matter, he still hits. Uh... For all right, let's see his modifier. Right, I keep forgetting his modifier. Uh, when you ow, ow! So he somehow manages to just go and fire a blue to move and fire a blue beam, and you just hear. Uh, well, Alex, Alex hears a scream in pain, and everybody else just hears an indistinguishable sound as uh, what Alex terms it is as he just possibly killed something. Um, Good for him. Yeah. In my conscious form. Uh, and now it's your turn, Alex. Now I'm awake, finally. God damn it. You're just uh, going up on the floor. Yeah. You uh, first have to get up and then smack the goblin. No, I thought the door, they can't hit the door because it's closed. No, no you can you hit still, them. There still is no walls, so you still can't attack. Yeah, that's why I closed the door, is because we have all the advantage. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> I, I was going out of turn. Yeah, it's this thing's turn. So, yeah, it still get, gets to attack, or... or well, I have to re-roll, because... But it still just fires an arrow into the void. Wee. So yeah, now it's Alex's turn. Er, definitely. Yeah, okay, and now I need to roll a d20 and plus whatever my modifier is. Whack the goblin. Whack the goblin. That's two, I think. No, one. It's your strength plus your proficiency, if you have proficiency in the weapon, to attack. Yeah, it's just plus two then. So that's it. Oh. You what your strength is zero? No, I think my strength is higher, I think. Wait. I don't even have my paper, that's the thing. Yeah, no, actually, it. Alex, were you sure you wanted to use your one rage on goblins? 
You want me to use the rage again? No, you can't. If you used your rage before, you can't use it again. again. You have to finish yeah. a long rest. Well, when we're done killing the goblins, we'll take a nap. An elongated nap. Because the law never sleeps. <laughs> Someone. Someone's laws keep telling us, yeah, we can still hit. I am the law. Spartan kick the goblin over the edge. <laughs> I am the law. <laughs> you can whack. Uh, see if you can't whack into the void. Yeah. Do it. Eh. Some old bitch. Uh, yeah, I'm going for attack. I, I think Henry would just roll it for me. Try to find the fucking paper. Oh. Um. Fuck. It's up to you. Uh, roll it to see. Yeah. Roll it to have. Because uh, you don't need to go and force it off. You just need to specify whether you're wanting to go, go and just uh, reach over and see about pushing it off, or use a weapon and try to smack it. I'm gonna use a javelin. I have an or the thorn weapon. Wait, where is it? That would be. It's still the same to it. Uh, so like you just uh do twenty. I'm uh, sorry, d twenty plus six. And then yeah. it's one d d six x plus six plus six. So essentially, you are killing these guys. Wait, are you attacking the third one or the second one? I'm gonna attack the third one. <gasps> Wait, how can he reach the second one, third one? Because he's throwing the javelin. Oh, okay. yeah, which javelin. it does hit. <laughs> Actually, no, uh, yeah. roll with disadvantage because you can't really see into that room. Yeah. What's the disadvantage roll? Yeah, I forgot that I rolled for disadvantage as well due to not seeing that room. Uh, oh, minus, no, it's no, minus you just three, roll, whatever that number is. No, for disadvantage, you just roll it again. So roll it's 1d20 plus 6. So, like, for example, with my Warlock, uh, I wrote with disadvantage. 19 first time. Disadvantage. 20. <laughs> okay, yeah, your javelin just gets stuck uh, right into its armor. And you think you hear the goblin laughing at you, at you failing? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get him next time, Snake. Fuck yes. me. Snake. I thought I injured his motherfucking ass. <laughs> my, so, my uh, now it's Derek's turn. Can I open that door? If you want to. <laughs> yes. Let's you open that tell door. Us all. You're going to kill us all. My watch is fine. Yeah. Roll your strength as well, by the way. <laughs> Alright. You had five. Actually, no. What he's doing is way smarter than what I'm doing. Never. Okay, yeah. The door opens. And, oh. And you see that the gob... You just see the goblin standing there as it almost was pushed off. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, goblin gets uh, attacked with the scimitar. God damn it. Uh, I think that hits you. I am not sure. Well, I, I'm already... Yeah. Oh, that gosh. hits you. Uh, the first, you. the first true casualty. Ouch. How much? Eight. Eight. What's my <laughs> HP again? 
You got dropped down to one HP due to that. The first Ooh. casualty. No, the second uh, casualty. The I don't know why I got the first time the cleric died. No, the first casualty. Get it right. I'm not dead. The cleric is I'm not, not down. I'm just at one HP. Don't worry about it. And actually, he would be unconscious as well. Wait, I'm at one HP. <laughs> yes. Because he went at and roll. Because as he hit you for a damage, you have nine HP. Uh -huh. Therefore, he went, went and ju just smacked you, uh, or he almost killed you. Alright. And you have one more action. Can I, like, push him off or something? Um, it would have to be... It would have to be this way. Uh, uh, but sure, throw your strength. Alright. See if I don't feel this time. Alright. Yeah, you uh, push him, uh, you clearly push him off into the abyss. No, I was going to Spartan kick him. <laughs> Wait, who? Who are you trying to Spartan kick? <laughs> the goblin. Uh, And so I... Watch him just be now right in the middle of like spawn right next to okay. you. Okay. Uh, you can you may be able to hear something, Alex. If you 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 would have to roll though. Okay, which which die, what number? Uh it would be a D twenty and you would be ro rolling the and um, perception. So plus four. One number. Evil cackling in the distance of <laughs> a dragon eating a goblin. A D twenty plus four. Yeah. Well. So. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Faintly, I can barely hear it. You just hear the goblin. Screaming, and then after about uh, 30 seconds, you just don't hear the screaming anymore. <laughs> yep, we killed something <laughs> for something. How much you want to bet that the dragons ate him? Nom, nom, yeah. Nom. Nom, nom. Yeah. Um, Wait, who who has a ad playing in the background? Who oh, no. And so yeah. with that, that uh, it is uh, Lucas's turn. Uh, I prep a Spartan kick. Okay. Uh, so, is that the only thing you do on your turn? Hmm? Is that the only thing you do on your turn? Wait, I have two actions, right? Yeah. Okay, I throw an axe. What do I add? Because I have two axes. Uh, you would be rolling with disadvantage, but still is just the normal thing. thing to hit. Can I throw so. it at four? Can I throw it at four? Yeah. But you would be wrong okay. with disadvantage because you can't necessarily see it. Okay, what do I add? Um, so you roll it twice, eyes, uh, and you roll strength. Oh, I'll put two rolls, I as think. As well as your proficiency bonus. Okay, so it's basically so just two one, hit, but you roll two. it twice. Thirteen. You and... just hear uh, what sounds to be laughing, and... A little bit of a uh, of what seems to be something just bouncing off of an arm of a piece of armor. And so, time for sorry, you cut out. Basically, the uh, you just hear laughing. What seems to be laughing, 
Where are these guys in their armor class? off the armor. What is their armor class? Actually, believe it or not, uh, they have high. They, uh, they are. They orcs are actually easier to hit than goblins. Believe it or not, because they're smaller. Because they're smaller, that's the reason why. Well, my hits. I'm ready for the Spartan kick. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, yeah, it's Echo. Uh, that would be me who called my name Echo. Echo, Echo, Echo. And so, the Barbarian just sees an arrow land right next, like, Right about there, next to his feet. The other arrow, he does not see as that just heads right to the void. Oh, you weak. <laughs> now we laugh at him. Ha 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 ha. funny enough, that's the one that was laughing at the javelin just being lodged in his armor. <laughs> So, uh, time for the Warlock. He does not hit with his first beam. Second beam! Just, uh, you see a ball of light uh, come out of the Warlock's hand, and it blows up. Knocking him unconscious! Wait. Wait, what just happened? You just cut out entirely for that. Yeah, come here. Like, you see a blue... Like, uh, with the warlocks, uh, after he launches a beam to seemingly nowhere, uh, he pre you see, uh, he prepares to launch a second beam, which you see just a ball of blue light uh, go into his hand, which then blows up, rendering him unconscious. Okay, so he's unconscious. He knocked himself out. Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> Fucking warlock. There's been really only one casualty. Look, you cannot try to kill him when he's unconscious. <laughs> I'm not going to kill him. Situations that might kill him. You're gonna put him in a chokehold or something? No. Look, man, don't do it. Right. Oh, wait, no. Actually, actually, I was incorrect. Yeah, the arrow was by your feet. Uh, so, like, the arrow was, like, right there. So, same same stuff, but just different thing. Um, so... Yeah, this thing just cannot seem to go and harm you guys at all. Except for me, I don't so I can it, die instantly. No, the thing does fire two more arrows right into the abyss. It's like ha 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 ha. They're like, they're probably thinking at this point. It's just like maybe we should stop laughing at them for not being able to hit us. No, it's laugh And actually, yeah, we do now have to do a rest because nobody can heal the two people that are unconscious. Yeah. So, yeah, whether or not, not you want to rest, it's like, too bad. <laughs> rest, it's basically an action. <laughs> yeah, but they can't do said action. You guys have also have to do... To go those get two. Out of the fight. Wait. What? Are we still fighting? Yeah. There's still okay. two more enemies over there. We well, shall have to defeat them, Lucas. We have to. Well, if he moves out of the way, me, I, or the barbarian can like, charge in through the hall and start kicking. No, actually, you guys can go through. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. The only reason why they could only get get to there is because this is an enemy, so it takes 10 to hop over. And 15, 20. 
Uh, sorry. I actually be almost out. So it's Lucas's turn before me, I think. No, actually, uh, he did take his action, so it is your turn. Ah. Uh, yeah, the Lucas old? is the last one. Uh, so basically, the turn order is the one. Uh, the warlock is unconscious. The person who just attacked you. I can't you, understand. So, the first goblin who is now dead. The cleric who is unconscious because he won the roll-off. Then the monk. Then uh, the fifth goblin who is also dead tied the cleric and the monk. But because he's an enemy, he lost the tiebreaker. Then it's Lucas and then uh, there's another enemy that's dead. And then there's a not one enemy. <laughs> <laughs> he yep, just doesn't get a go at all. I movement speed, literally. So I'm ready so, for attack. Actually, uh, it would be like right there. There, yeah, so. Yeah. Oh. And I need a wolf because of the reaction of the movement as well. First one bounces off your armor, second one hits you. For eight damage. Wait, what's my ace? My ace is like what? At uh, sixteen. <clears throat> um, and he had de dead at uh, twenty to hit you. Not not twenty though. So now it's your turn. Well, uh, now you can attack. I'm literally going to kill the fuck out of the dude. Plus six. My. What? A D. What? A D. You can kill it the third one. One and get your javelin back. Yeah. D10 plus six. Wait, did I ever subtract the, the javelin? No, I think. No, I did not. 16 and whatever the roll. Yeah, fine. Alright. That was the wrong dice, but, uh, sure. Roll your damage. Wait, which die? You're rolling to hit, not the damage. Which, uh, fuck. It's a d20. Plus yeah, and actually, you add 8 to your thing. Add 8, yeah. So, basically, you have a high chance of hitting. Add d20 plus 8. Yeah, d20 plus 8. There we go. That's the damage, whatever the... If the... Nope. <laughs> yeah. Well, it depends. I'm allowing the D10 thing, but you just don't crit. Yeah, I don't crit. So, yeah, you can roll 1D6 one, one uh, plus 6. <clears throat> just because I'm being not nice in the fact that these enemies seem to have been just... Like, there's just been a lot of death on this. I have seen no death so far. Eleven. Fucking slay the third one so I can get the javelin back. Fuck him. Yeah. He is... How did you want to kill him? Just uh, push the javelin down further into him. Um, go and you use a hand axe. How? And pale the javelin. Pale. So you would just pale. use the javelin. Javelin that's already in him to just push it down right into the armor. Yep. Exactly. Just kick it, straight out kick the, the javelin straight okay. into his heart. Yeah, he's dead. Yep. Lucas's turn. Hurry, Lucas. I don't want to die. Uh, okay. Can I move to where, like. Uh, actually, it's Derek's turn. No. Uh, um, <laughs> health. Derek. I have, I have darts. Can I throw darts at number four? You would have You're to be right. here for it, but you can ro roll with disadvantage to see about hitting him. Alright. So you're moving here and then firing? Um, yeah. Okay, roll your two hit twice. Fuck. <laughs> so... I rolled a three. Yeah. That. You just. 
fire a dart into the abyss. Bye bye dart. No, no more dart now. Yeah. Yeah, no more darts. <laughs> I lost one. I lost a couple of darts. Feels bad, man. Yeah. My guy, that dart went away. I also did not like how they ordered it. Uh. Nom nom nom. And so with that, now it's Lucas's turn. Okay, I want to move to basically where the cleric is. Roll strength to move the cleric back one space. Wait, does that take an action or? Um. No, Can I not? But you're, no, because you're trying to do it with your feet. You're oh, basically kicking you trip and fall. So it's basically either roll decks or roll strength. One or two. Strength. Eight. Nope. Nope. You j roll your decks. Yeah. Okay, my... Oh, wait. I shouldn't have added so much for that. Still, <clears throat> you would not have done it. So... 21. Yep. It, now the... With a natural crack. <laughs> Okay, so you trip on the cleric, and then you proceed to go, go and slide, uh, or roll, uh, right past the barbarian, negating and the reaction, and uh, and landing and uh, right next to the barbarian. Okay, if I Spartan kick the goblin into the void. Do I add strength? <laughs> yes. Uh, no, you just roll strength. Yeah. Okay, just roll strength. Fifteen. You just... He just moves as, like, to about here. Uh, Come on, that should at least be five feet. But, That's like halfway. Yeah. So... Shit. Now the go goblin's going to be targeting Alex. Wait, doesn't that do damage? I mean, at least one. Um, sure. Uh, okay. All d6. Okay, d6 of damage. Plus strength, or? Uh, no, just a regular d6. Okay. Five. So, yeah. Um, uh, Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Yeah, he did hit. But. So, yeah. Alex is now down to 2 HP because uh, the gob last remaining goblin just proceeds to stab the one that is already majorly hurt uh, in the arm. Um, and then it, well, he does that for five damage, and he can't seem to go do the same thing. Thing as he just bounces off the skin for the second time. Um, oh my lord. So, Alex's turn. Wait, is the cleric dead? Have we gotten that across yet? The cleric's already <laughs> unconscious. He was unconscious, basically, turn two. But so, is he dead? Yet? The, uh, basically, number three was like, Hi, cleric! I just have you. You know, second, the other one was like, Hi, Cleric, I'm just going to stab you again. Okay. I know, but it's did he pass all his saving rolls, or? Mm. No, I haven't been doing saving rolls for him, actually. Damn it. <laughs> D20 with fucking number. You want him to die. You could just scoot him off, you know, with your foot if you really no, wanted to. No, here's the thing. My character will not kill him because he cannot prove that he's a demon worshiper. <clears throat> um, and also, neither are technically better. demon 
demon worshippers, unless my character you can... believes they are. Yeah, unless you can't <laughs> that have, like A U R I L, uh, who's just basically a uh, god, a deity of frost. Uh, He's trying to destroy the world. He's a demon. <clears throat> that is the logic. <laughs> They're not even trying to destroy the world. Uh, I call freezing, I call freezing over the world destroying it. Therefore, he's a demon. They're not even trying to go and freeze over the world. They're just going and worship. They're just go going and offering up stuff uh, to a deity so that they don't uh, go and freeze. That is basically what they're doing. Nah, enough of a demon worship. They should just kill the entity. <laughs> just if it's not socially appropriate, murder it. No, Come on. <laughs> yeah, D twenty with what number? Fuck. Your modifiers like on whatever you want to roll. Like if you use magic, you want to add your magic modifiers. What's my magic? You have no magic, as far as I know. Yeah. I just want to mention this is my character, not me. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you have no magic, so you can't cast anything. So it's basically just plus 8 due to strength and proficiency. Plus 8. Let's roll this d20 with 8. Yeah. Let's roll uh, d20 with plus 8. What I get? Thirteen, <laughs> barely. And you bounce off the armor. Curse the armor! <laughs> you still have another action. You didn't move. Yeah. Curse thine armor. Can I? Uh... Yeah, right. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move right behind Lucas. No. Well, this wanna... fight has been going on for about two hours now. <laughs> no, actually, it's been going on for probably like, around like twenty minutes. Yeah. Oh, wow. I move. I waste my action to move, so it's done. Okay. So then, um, it is Derek's turn. All right. Derek, get closer so you actually can throw the darts. Look here. <laughs> I want to try again for the darts. No, get closer, then throw the darts. I want to get, like, right here. <laughs> no, it's not going to work. Get even closer it's to the... It's going to work. I want to throw well, my darts. Conscious. Cleric. Who's con Wait, who's Actually, con you can technically do this, because you go, oh, go like, yeah. there to here, but that thing, but... Wait, this. yeah. Where's the fun so, in that? But this thing just move. gets an attack of opportunity for that. All right. How about like, just, yeah, just move me a bit forward, like, you know. No, like even right here, right you right still here. have disadvantage. All right, right here. Um. Yeah, you're uh, you can go and see him from there. All right. And then uh, I throw my darts at him. You technically already have your darts out. Yeah. So roll it to your hit. Hey. Shit, natural 20. Yeah, that thing's dead. Roll your damage. So that you know. <laughs> See how much we over you overkilled it. Like, it has like one health you left, right? Two. How much is darts? So, hold on. <laughs> Two, but who's counting? You still run. It just explodes, sticks to gonna, barbarian skin. I'm gonna do like a D4 or something. <laughs> Cause I don't know how much it does. I think a darts D4. Uh, I could check. Wake up. I need somebody. Wake up. Just my uh, day, buddy. Yeah, wake still, up. Uh, it 
Um, Alright. Yeah, D4. Yeah, it's 1D4. Alright. It's 1D4 piercing. So, yeah. You just outright murder it. Uh, for, uh, as you throw the dart for 6 damage. So, how do you want to kill it? <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. I see. Both the darts. Wait, did I do? I think I threw a one. Yeah, you just threw one. To, to be fair, you just need a one. I want a dart to hit him in the eye. So, you just go and throw it, and and as one final act of pain to the goblin, you just have the uh, dart fly straight into his eye. I uh, and you, the force are basically uh, pushing him down to the ground and slide, making him slide to about here, uh, and murdering him. Feels good, man. Yes, it feels good to murder goblins. Um. Uh, and so, now all the goblins are de dead, and so, oh, do you guys want to do a long rest to go and just have these guys get back up and continue, or just long oh, yeah. a long rest? Long rest. Uh, okay. And what are you guys planning to do for those eight hours? Um, can I, well, hold up first. Can I like oh. poke the cleric? Slap the cleric awake. Let's do it. <laughs> so, you three are the only ones currently left alive uh, or up. So, you guys get to decide, decide how to split uh, the 250 copper or. Uh, and how do you guys want to divide up the 250x? I put a copper piece into each of the mouths of the dead people. And then... No, that's a waste of copper. No, yeah, I'm actually, not talking about the goblins, I'm talking well, about the people. They're not dead. Yes, they are. Like... Yeah, they'll be on that for the long rest. I convinced them actually, that they're dead. No, wait. I want to walk to the warlock and slap with my quarterstaff. Nope, I rolled a 17. I'm convincing you two that they are dead. Yeah, you have to roll roll to see if you actually go. go and... All right. My obvious medical knowledge. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were convinced. Well, I still want to slap the dead people then. Wait, why did I roll twice? <laughs> well, since they're dead. Well, since they're dead... So, I don't know why I really. Like, which one were you smacking character... first, the cleric or the warlock? I want to. I want to hit the warlock. Uh, twice. Uh, no. Uh, what were? What was that roll for? Uh, I I just... don't know. I don't know. Okay then. Um, um, Honestly, yeah. ignore it. <laughs> but yeah. Just roll. Since my since my character thinks they're dead, he just hits them. Like he's gonna hit someone else, so <laughs> he just hits the roll just to see if you uh, somehow hit the armor. Alright. So wait, shouldn't the barbarian also roll to see if he's convinced they're dead? Yeah, he should be. Oh my god. Roll for me. Uh should we rip it? <laughs> Give him my roll. Yeah, roll for me. <laughs> All right, I'll roll for him. Roll for Give me. him the roll I rolled that was totally accidental. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nineteen. <Yeah. laughs> Seventeen. Well, it depends 18. on whether you want to take that roll or mine. You get. What's the, your roll? You get. Uh, like it's in secret for me, so you can't know it until you go in and. Take I'll take Derek's. I'll take yeah. Derek. Okay, yeah, good decision. Okay, what was that your roll? 
damn it. <laughs> yeah, with Vlad, you have absolutely believed him. Uh, with Derek's, you go, go and see right through it and know that they are not dead. At least not yet. I, I still go, shh, they are dead. He's like, shh. So, <laughs> so, I just I put my finger up to his mouth. So how are we wanting to divide up the experience? The okay. law is pleased with this. Wait, no. Wait, no. I still slapped the warlock with the stake. Yeah, he rolled a 17 <laughs> for it. Yeah. And it really bugs me that he's not adding modifiers. Because I don't have any. I don't think I have any. You, have been you always strength, have modifiers. I don't know. Because my bio but is not Gaudi, you did add modifiers there. <laughs> he can't uh, access his bio. I can't access my, mo my file. Your Wait, try again. Now I can. Your strength is 11. That's plus zero. All right. So he shouldn't have been adding anything. With yeah. So technically, you did roll correctly. Okay. But, um... So, yeah, yeah. he just smacked the warlock. Smack his ass. Smack his ass. Smack his ass. <laughs> and since I think it's dead... I, no, I but Terry Cowdy, he just fell, uh, like, right on his back as his spell just... Because, like, he was preparing to fire your... And then just, like, like it blew up and knocked him unconscious. So the funny thing about him is he he didn't even go get a, take a hit to, by an enemy. He just freaking uh, got it. He just had his spell for some reason blow up. So since I smack him, do I have to roll for damage or? Yes, 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 like, yes. It's like yes, yes. Actually, since yes. he's unconscious, you don't know. But I do will say that this Patreon did find that thing funny. Actually, actually no, Patron. I can roll with uh, how this Patron. Patron. Alright. We're fucking assholes to an unconscious person. <laughs> yeah. Look, I just, look, I thought he was dead. Yeah, so yeah. I went to poke him. Yeah, the pa okay. The Patron, uh, I said the Patron, yeah, the Patron and is just too busy laughing at his Laughing and uh, to go and worry about their person. Uh, All right. Can I check if they have any wood bark on them? Any tree bark? Roll them. Uh, roll investigation. All right, because my guy's gonna go insane if I don't get tree bark. <laughs> oh my lord. Wait, is he rolling to find tree bark? On him, yes. Okay. Let's make some tree bark out of his flesh. Oh my lord. <laughs> Let's get you this camping. You find that he... Uh, <sighs> well. Do I find tree bark, or...? You rolled an 18, but whatever your modifier is, should be ahead. Roll the natural see, see if one thing counts as tree bark. It's like <laughs> if it's tree bark, dude. <laughs> does it come from a tree? Yeah, does it come from a tree? Is it the outermost layer of a tree? Tree uh, bark is the outermost layer of a tree. If yes, then yes. If no, then no. It's simple. I'm just going to view it as uh, similar to a block block, and say, no, you, you find a stick, egg, but it doesn't seem to be tree bark. I toss the stick then. <laughs> Into the <sighs> void. Why not just put it My, back on it? In a fit of rage, I toss the stick. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what how good a stick of essence is. It's uh, and just to know if that is actually bad or not. Check the goblins. Maybe the goblins may have some. I'm going. To, yeah, I'm going to check first. And then I'm going to check the cleric. There's then I'm going to check the goblins. There's Wait, one there's there. one there. Uh, hey, can I? I'll, I'll, I'll collect that tree bark. And then I believe there's it. one there. Uh, 
One there. There's one here. One fell off the void, and then there's one here. Yeah. So roll to see. In all honesty, I should more just going to be turning the things just so that we know that they're dead rather than anything else. That's what is going on in the background? <laughs> oh, I'm playing the video game right now. So, was that to find out on the goblin? Yes. You find a meat stick, but you don't think that that's what you're looking for. Alright, I'm gonna check the cleric there. <laughs> Fuck. You don't. You think he has uh, has something similar, a stick similar to the warlock, uh, but uh, you can't seem to find any tree bark. Fuck. Can I check the goblin that's like right here or something? I forgot. No, the thing that was right there is in the void. Yeah, not not the one near, but the one that fucking. You can try like, going into the void if you want. No, thank you. <laughs> like I'm trying to, f like, isn't there like one right right here or something? Yeah. I like to go to that one and check. There's also one there, and believe there may be one there. I swear. Like I need street bark. <laughs> Wait, do I have anything that could pass as street bark? <laughs> That one doesn't pass. Let's see about the other guy. Uh, yeah, God you damn find it. another meat stick, but you just... Wait, oh, wait, wait. Oh. I, have a, I have a question. I have a whittling kit. Does that come with bark or a tree? Um, I don't think it does, but it could. Okay, let's roll a 20 to see. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a no. <laughs> no. Uh, it was a good try. Alright. I have to wait then. My guy has to wait. You know, what we need right now is a dryad. Yeah, I was gonna say, I <laughs> mean, a druid would be so perfect right now. For my no, guy. a dryad. We could oh, just, a dryad. We could just skin the dryad. Or the dryad could just make a plant and say... Here's a piece of tree bark. Where's the fun in that? Yeah, I no wait. I the fire that we put we pulled out was tree bark. So oh, it was. Yeah, right, run. Can, can, run. Can, I want to run over there and consume it. Uh, it's you're right next to him. on the top right hand corner of the warlock. Uh, I'll like. That's so like, Lucas's character. Yeah, I'm talking about like right here. Or, no, no, it's yeah, right yeah, there right in the purple there. you just touched. Yeah, the purple. Oh, there's a there's fire burnt wood there. there. There's burnt wood. I'll here. like. That's about it. I'll I'll take all three of the burnt wood and then consume one of those. Roll. Consume my wood. Yeah, roll. Consume. Oh yeah, roll. Right. Roll constitution. Consume my wood. <laughs> yeah, I'll say you pass. Uh, hey. So you uh, you can taste as uh, how burnt it is, as but it's at least tolerable to you. I'm satisfied for now. <laughs> We had to buy tree bark for him, like biscuits or like pine cones. Pine cones are semi tree bark. Yes. Yeah. So now we take my whole time family left. Uh, yes, oh, yeah. I'm freedom. So, anything you guys want to do during the long rest, or or, or uh, strategize, because we're gonna need to go to another room. I already got my javelin back anyway. Well, we should help up the cleric and then see what stuff the goblins had on them that we could use because I know yeah. they have meat sticks because I just tried to take a fucking 
They have bone arrows. Wait, I heard meat sticks. What? They have meat sticks. No, goblins have bow and arrows, but they're they're uh you have to Yeah, they, yeah, they have bow and arrows. I'm talking about like food wise, they have meat stick. No, there's there's what would be termed a meat stick on them. Uh yeah, don't you probably do not want to eat that at all. Alright. Yeah. We can take the goblins arrows arrows, cause uh, uh it's just I, minus one efficiency. Whoever is good at the arrows. <laughs> I just want to break the fourth wall, right? Please, and people who watch this video, please understand why I'm right now going meat sticks, really. Look, I know what you mean, all right, my guy, you need to chill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to I wanna take one of the goblins' arrows, because they're, they're made out of wood anyway, so. Yeah. I want to yeah. put... Yeah, See if you can find an arrow on them. Yeah. And then after that, that it's just like, do you guys want to do like what? Well, like, is there anything else you guys? I'll take do? the first shift. You know, probably because we should split up. Or so you're splitting up as in like uh, times. Uh, uh, it's a D20. Well, it depends on if you want the cleric uh, and the warlock up or not. A D20 plus two on mine. Well, he's convinced that the cleric is dead. Alex <laughs> is dead. not. Yeah. True. I'm convinced that the cleric and the warlock are dead. Because well, that's why no, I hit the fucking sticks. You can also roll to all oh, investigation to see if they are actually dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I do that for the cleric? Yeah. You can do it on both. I'm just you're rolling clear. to check their bodies, not ro rolling to see see if they were actually dead. All right, I'll Eight. check their bodies. There we go. Three, never mind. That's yeah, a, yeah you still are pretty sure that the cleric is dead. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I got one arrow. Finally, yep. fuck. Only one. Uh, do you want to do the same for the warlock? Mm, check the warlock. I'll, I'll strip that warlock naked. <laughs> Take all the clothing. You know, I was going to at least them with their clothing on and <laughs> like a coin in their mouth. <laughs> you guys, you guys are telling me I'm going too far. You're literally <laughs> stripping them. Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? Like, let's just lot. go and, and yeah, like let's just put a coin in their mouth. Like, no, that's going too far. Uh, sexual so, harassment, yeah, that is perfectly fine. <laughs> Here, here's my movement. I only can do this so far. <laughs> we still in the. Uh, still like. Wait, so hold up. Still. Fi find all this, like different things. So, like, is this cleric dead? I'm gonna go. We still to the need wall. to divide up that as well. Okay, I want to put a copper coin in the mouth of the cleric and the lock. Because if the cleric is dead, I should just kick him off, right? <laughs> Into the Are you void. Gonna drag it? No, that's not a good thing. <laughs> you know what? I was just going to just have him wake up. That way I could convince you guys that they're zombies. But this is so much better. So, do I, I, I don't do what? He's what, dead. How much copper we have to share? Uh, currently, a uh, you guys have with what Lucas is do has done. On uh, there is that much to divide uh, up left between you guys, as well as two hundred fifty XP. Two hundred XP. I like the two hundred eighty copper. That's it's up to you three. Eighty-two Otherwise, copper. I have to go and. For the XP, I get to decide. Decide with the I get to be in with the cleric and the warlock. It's eighty-two. It's eighty-two per <laughs> per person in the group. Yeah. Then with one copper coin left over. Wait, are you dividing it right now? Yes. Yeah. I divided it equally between us. Two. Yeah, it's two eighty-two with the one main. Oh yeah, eighty-two. 
Or you can get, uh, <laughs> take one out of somebody's mouth and divide, buy it up for an even 83. It's just who. Yeah. It's just who would uh, be. Who would you take it out of? Of like Crixton's mouth or Williams? Take out both. Um, wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. I want to say something right now. What? Shouldn't they have <laughs> purses filled with gold coins and all that? Yeah. So, but then you are uh, being a thief in which th then. Uh, no, they're. They're dead. No, they're unconscious. Okay. So if they get out, they can easily get out, out and make you guys wanted if you leave, leave them to die, die and steal their gold and money. Fine, we won't steal them. Leave their possessions on. I will leave their possessions on them. I will just turn yeah, my they can back. Yeah, rob, rob from those two. Oh, then depending on how long you guys take, they I'm turning wake up. my. I'm turning my... Uh, actually, I want to start dragging the corpses over to the... Let's make a new fire. Where do we want to make a new fire in Russia? Wait, don't burn them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to burn them. I start to... We're, we're going to warm up the corpses. We have to I, share the... By technicality, you can just go and create right. a fire there. Okay. How much XP will everybody get this? Two out okay. conscience. If you wanted to do it evenly, everybody gets 50. Okay. Let's do it evenly. Yeah. Evenly. Evenly. So even go oh, sorry, so even XP then uneven. Yeah, gold. to the unconscious, yeah. Yeah. Well, currently they're unconscious and Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm saying like it's up to you guys to divide up the copper. Cause they can't say, they can't say anything about the copper, so as far as they they yeah. know. No copper was dropped, unless you guys say that there was copper dropped. Um, no, I want to try and drag the body of the cleric over to the fire. Not in the fire, just right next to, to the fire. Yeah. Just to keep yeah. it warm. 16, yes. You can at least drag it to there. Okay, can I roll again to see if I can drag it? Sure. I'll, I'll drag Ten. as well. Damn it. <laughs> Damn. Sure, I'll help you as well. It's a teamwork. Yeah, I'll okay, help too. Roll. We all try and drag the body. This thing cannot <laughs> be that heavy. And you two go and roll. D20 plus 6 on my on me. <laughs> I got a 9. It's a combination that's all together anyway. So it's yeah. 19 right now. Oh, 20. Uh, yeah. You guys almost drag. Uh, even though you guys were not intending to, you guys still almost dragged the cleric into the fire. Well, there we go. Now those bodies are over by the fire where we can take care of them. Yeah. <laughs> so, anything else you guys want to do before the long rest? Um. I need someone to heal. Oh, wait. All the healers are dead. Never mind. I mean. Uh, did I, can I get my hand axe back? Uh. The hand axe probably was would be like right about there still. Can I grab it? Yeah. Then I grab the hand axe. Okay, then and uh, add a hand axe if you subtracted one. Yeah, I did. And by technicality, he could could have grabbed the dart back from the the thing as well. I start from the goblin. Did you want to do that as well, Derek? Huh? Oh, my dart. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What? Then I don't, I don't think I subtracted the ninth dart. So, uh, no, I missed one. Ninth dart is in the void. One of them is yeah. in the void. Yeah, one's in the void. So you would have to jump into the vo void. I uh, I do not recommend jumping into the just just yeah. Uh, so everybody, so uh, can I roll medicine on? I want to try and heal them. I'll be nice. Do you have any medicine and, uh, actually on you? I don't have the... Pr no, but I can, you know, make sure they're not bleeding to death in their sleep. Sure. You know. Oh, it's real bleeding. Oh. So that would be plus my wisdom, right? Because that's uh, what the skill is. There's actually not... 
knowledge of well the skill itself is uh wisdom but i don't have the proficiency so it's just one so then you do plus one yeah six i don't do a very good job i don't really care apparently yeah <laughs> see even the game doesn't want me to care about his npc life <laughs> clearly not we need a ricky we need so a ricky are you got we need so a Ricky. Any other actions you guys want to take? Can I like just uh, wait? Could could we actually move the two bodies to be right next to each other so I can do some? Sure, but why? Y you will see. He wants to do something. <laughs> Force their hands to hit each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh dang it! I got kicked out of the game. <laughs> I'll be right back. Quick, you'll see it. If it requires moving their actual tokens, you'll not be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So long as they don't wake up with goblins on the, the they probably will not go and hurt you at all. Uh, okay, you guys can see that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Poor smile. Smile to the camera. So, anybody wanted to do anything else or uh, keep her resting? Yeah, don't let's, rest. just, let's just take a nap until you like I get my HP back. Or... Is there anything that you guys want to do while resting, or do you guys just want to? Can I like? Can I go in that one area of all the goblins and check the area, like see if there's anything in there? That would be before resting, but sure. Mm. Uh. Wait, I have an idea. I want to test something scientific. What? I want to take the warlock's hand and make him punch himself. By technicality, it's not himself. Uh, you're just actually having him punch himself. Not. It only works if he's punching himself. But what do I? Try. My character doesn't know how this works. How do I? What do I roll? You would roll strength, and you don't need to do much for that. I rolled a critical one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you just try to have him. Punch himself, however, you just have it go right to your crotch. Ow. <laughs> Luckily, I have balls of steel. <laughs> My character just falls fa face first into the floor. <laughs> so, anybody else want to do anything? Can I see if he's okay? <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's not yeah. uh, down on the ground, so yeah. she, you assume he's okay. I guess you're okay, buddy. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... The Lord doesn't feel the pain! <laughs> so, anybody else wanting to roll? Oh, sorry, anybody else wanting to do anything? or? Yeah, I wanted to investigate this area, see if there's anything in there. Go ahead. Alright. That's cancer. Um, roll an investigation if you want to see if there is anything in there. I did. I got a uh, 10. What were you specifically checking for? Anything. Uh... You just see an empty room. Okay. Because, like, you guys took all the goblin corpses out, right? Did it? You basically see just, like, what you know to be in the room already. So you see not... 
nothing if you took the corpses out or you just see the corpses lying on the ground. Mm. Um, so, any other things? Um, or is everybody okay with uh, doing the long rest now? Or long, long rest. rest. <laughs> long rest. Anything thing you guys want to do during the long rest or just... I'll keep first watch. Who wants to do set? I think I do the second. barbarians, yeah, should do last watch since he's the one. since he's the big boy. <laughs> you guys, so you guys are not uh, trying to learn languages or anything like that during the rest. No, oh, okay. handy. I can teach them Elven again if they want. I'm good. Yeah, I want to be taught again. Five. I rolled a five. Well, it's more or if they want to go and learn it. I want to so learn like it. They can roll uh, uh, up to eight times. For this. It's how many hours do you want to spend trying to learn Elven? Let's say ten hours. We will, we'll, because it's the long rest. How no, long is our long rest? Long rest has to be eight, eight hours. Eight hours. I'll go for. I'll go for ten. Or, no, you can only go to eight on that, and then we have to ask the, uh, and then we do it again, again and ask if uh, the cleric and the warlock are fi fine. Or you let's just rest them. until the warlock and all that are fully healed and all. Yeah. No, I want to learn the language, out. my dude. Because, like, with the long rest, it uh, you roll uh, and heal at least a little bit. Uh, so in eight hours they should be off to uh, nothing else to where where the warlock can just punch himself if he needs any more healing, and then the he can punch the cleric if the cleric needs any more healing, as well as if anybody else needs any more healing. Um. So like, uh, if you want to do the entire time, Alex, just roll roll a d twenty eight times. Okay, I'll roll. Fuck. I I'll prefer to... them to be separate rolls as well, not just like all at once. Wait, which? So which die any roll for separate rolls? D twenty. D twenty. Yeah, like uh, my wisdom. Yeah, you would be roll. Rolling uh, with your actually no, you would be rolling with your intelligence. So what's my intelligence? Wait, mm. it's plus one. Plus uh, one. Unless you want to go and try to for the argument of wisdom. Nah, I'll go for wisdom. Not wisdom. No, you have to argue wisdom. Uh. Um. So like, how would uh, it be going up for wisdom? I don't know. What's the wisdom number? Wisdom is different. two, so you get plus one to it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah I could go for two. But you also okay. have to argue it, because like I'm saying, it's intelligent. So oh, it's either are are you for wisdom or roll intelligence, which is plus one. Hmm. I'll go for intelligence just to increase it. Okay. Roll 1d20 plus 1 one for every hour that you want to spend. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's see which ones I got good so far. 1, 2, 3, just 3. Out of the eight hours. Okay. Uh, then roll a d10 for each one. Uh, well, just a flat out d10, so don't add any modifiers to it. Okay. Um.
Seven. He's not going to heal because of this. No, learning. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I just hope he doesn't notice that I smacked him in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I attempted robbery just to. <laughs> Wait. Okay, I learned. Isn't Wait. the dwarf naked? Dwarf? Yeah, didn't somebody strip the cleric? No, someone no. stripped the warlock. Uh, oh. The warlock, that would be me. <laughs> Just why'd, you, the there. why'd you even strip the warlock? <laughs> Just the fun and joy of it. Just left it near the fire. Damn. Keep the clothes nice and toasty. <laughs> the cat fire. Okay, and then I am not. Everybody, well... Uh, or everybody roll your hit die. So Derek, it's a D8. Uh, Lucas, it's a D10, and Alex, it's a D12. I didn't take any damage though. I By technicality, you did. It's just that uh, that you took like one. So oh, it's okay. Like, why? I don't remember when I took damage, but okay. When you Ten. had to add the wall. <laughs> When you try having the warlock, uh, oh yeah, down. I rolled a four. So am I full? <laughs> With that one, I was a two. I got a ten out of mine. It's kind of okay. So uh, Derek heals for two. He's back up at three. Hey. Uh, uh, the warlock healed for, I believe, leave four. Uh, uh, Lucas healed up to full. And Alex healed a whopping 12. And then do you all want to be punched by the warlock to for the final heal? I don't yeah. need to be sure, but just make don't get him too close to my kid. <laughs> he doesn't nearly want him to punch him as to poke him. <laughs> yeah. His punches feel good though. That's not that's not the move, Chief. Right? Like just poke me a couple of times, my guy. Punch me, Daddy. So Alex, you do you want to be punched? Yeah, I want to be punched. I get fully healed. Okay. Uh, the cleric knows that the warlock can heal, so he's also going to be taken. Yeah. We're so. Uh, um, uh, I want to give the cleric and the warlock, by the way, like. I got 83 out of that. Right? No, 82. I want to give them both... Um, actually, they still had the coin in the mouth. So oh. they just woke up and it's like, what is this? <laughs> uh, what is this coin in my mouth? Yeah. oh well, I'll just pocket it. Because <laughs> uh, they assumed oh, that you guys just gave it to the... the um, so, they just didn't ask any questions <laughs> about it being in their mouth. Yeah. Oh. And I am trying to add up Alex's numbers to see if he fully learned the language. 
Uh, Constantly want to learn, man. Learning's uh, good. <laughs> okay, how much do you already know of it? I believe it was about 5%. So, yeah, due to that, you jumped all the way up to 44% of Elvin. Um, you know, now know the swear words. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I know how to curse. Right. So, you've basically elevated from uh, extremely simple uh, Elvin... To, to toddler Elvin. I'll be back at Jesus' bathroom. So it goes from just know, knowing that way, way good, that way bad, uh, this way, uh, stuff like that, uh, uh, to him actually be able to uh, correctly state sentences. Kind of like saying broken English words to somebody. Do you know what the bathroom is? Yes, something like that. Where's the something. bathroom? Exactly. The, the bathroom is somewhere here. And to be <laughs> fair, that did go get really helped via the 20. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, had you not gotten that 20, you would have been about at 36%, so you would have been, been at kind of simple all Elvin. The point is, we can trust him in an Elven city to at least be a tourist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a we tourist We basically just say that you are a tour tourist to the Elven people so that they don't go and get absolutely mad at you. Oh. I don't speak Elven very good. Exactly. So, where do you guys want to go now? Down, up, well, to the left, right, and uh, up, to the right, and down, up, left, or down? Think. Um, or do you want to ask the warlock? Fuck. Uh, nope, oh, number two, or nope, number one. <laughs> it's like we have to decide now. You guys can also go up here, air, and and down here. I want to go down down here. Or wasn't there a way in the other room? Yeah, there's still. A I want to go down to that one. I want to go down to that one. That's my vote. Um, Though the law will follow the group. And he knows absolutely nothing about that room. How the heck did he, does he not be... How the heck does, is William not able to know anything about that sort of room? Then we should even go even more to that. So who's joining? So who's going fir first to down here? Oh, well, are we going there? Where are we going? Do we want to go down into the back where we came from? No, down down into the left. Down into uh, the left. Yeah, we yeah, went up into the right. Okay, that's was gonna both for doing that. Derek, this is actually the starting room. Uh, we are back at the start of the... We are back at where we started the dungeon at. Alright. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-
Oh, you have to go, man? Yeah. Okay, we'll see you. Uh, so, Alex, what is your I, with that? You want me to just I, play for your character that, then, Derek? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, I say why not? Let, let's just call it a night. We've been playing for a good two oh, and a half. Can, yeah. And this is like a perfect place to stop off. Back to the dungeon from square one again. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Back to square one! Uh, I just want to state for the video before you stop recording. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everything my character's done was in character and not actually my opinion. Yeah, so like you don't. Uh, so like you actually. Can you put up like a disclaimer text yeah. or something? Yeah, it's like what my character is doing is what I've rolled for him. Yeah, it's basically just like. I be cautious. Uh, I'm sorry, disclaimer. We are all in character for the most part of this. Unless we specifically state that it's out of character, assume that it's in character. Outside, yeah. outside of the DM. Yes, because m- my flaw is that my character thinks he'd be the best tyrann- tyrannical lord ever. So basically, so for me, you want to go take down the Evil Lord because you think he's tyrannical. So he loves helping people and all that? Like, I was being kind to them, but not really. <laughs> but he's also secretly an asshole. That is how I'm playing it. Yeah, though I'm uh, honestly kind of amazed how long this place actually is. Because in all honesty, I expected us to have been, like, out in the first... Well, out in the first episode, or at least close to being out in the first episode. We've explored, like, two rooms. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, it's no. always the combat. It's always the combat. In yeah, D&D. we've explored, like, three rooms. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. We've done basically nothing. Welcome to D&D. Yes, very much. Uh,